I want you to dive deep into your memory right now and tell me what you see in people's hands when either in school, on the bus or on a tube. An iPhone, am I right? Now if you know something about tech, you know that Samsung has the biggest market share in smartphones but somehow anywhere you look you always see someone holding an iPhone and it feels like a miracle when you see something other than an iPhone in someone's hand. Genesis it all started in January 2007 when Steve Jobs announced the first ever iPhone. Back then, if you wanted a smartphone, your only option was a slow, bulky Android with plastic buttons and it just felt yuck. So it came to no one's surprise that when Steve Jobs introduced the first ever iPhone, everyone loved it. They didn't like the price as much, but that didn't matter because it wasn't branded as an everyday smartphone. Instead, Apple branded it as a luxury communications device. The wordplay that Steve Jobs used on stage, the multiple comparisons with other Android smartphones, all this made the iPhone customers think that they were getting the most revolutionary smartphone ever made and indeed they were. As more and more people started buying the iPhone and saw how great of a device it was, they subconsciously started recommending it to family and friends. The short roll of the tongue name also significantly helped because the iPhone is a much more simpler name to remember than the Sony Ericsson P800 for example. The Rise of the Blue Fast forward 4 years later to 2011 and Apple released their own messaging app called iMessage. This app was specifically designed to make communication and file sharing seamless between two iPhones but turned a blind eye to the Android competitors. This event right here might have been the greatest decision Apple ever made. iMessage enabled you to receive and send high quality videos and images over Wi-Fi or cellular data, see when the other iPhone user is typing and your text gets engulfed in this beautiful sky blue text bubble. Later on, they enabled you to play games with other iPhone users, which made the app a lot more functional and fun. However, as soon as you start texting your Android buddy, your eyes turn sour. You go from a gorgeous sky blue text bubble to a disgusting slimy green text bubble. You lose the functionality to play iMessage games and you can't send high quality images or videos. Apple were making sure you knew the difference between texting an iPhone user and an Android user. They wanted to make sure they had a hidden superiority complex. A quick reminder to please subscribe if you're enjoying the video, I'm really trying to grow this channel. The Fall of the Blue Every iPhone user hated the feeling of texting an Android user and this hate quickly turned into an obsession. There are some questionnaires that have ensured that some people wouldn't date another based on the colour of their text bubble. Kids were getting bullied in school because they weren't part of the blue gang. Friends were being left out of group chats because they had an Android and not an iPhone. The examples just keep on going. This is where Apple saw the real success because as we all know, the best type of marketing is a type where wherever you go, you can't escape people talking about your products or using it. Apple did nothing to counteract the bullying or harassment going on because of how they built iMessage for Android. Instead, they kept quiet because they knew that was the easiest and quickest way to get Android users to convert into using iPhone. Apple could have easily incorporated RCS messaging into iMessage and this would have solved 90% of the issues Android users had, but instead they chose to ignore it and give Apple users reasons to hate Android which is so simple but just pure genius. The competition Apple's biggest rival Samsung has seen the success that Apple has had in the US which is the biggest market for tech companies. So all the higher ups at Samsung gathered together at the CES 2022 event to talk about a strategy they can use to overtake Apple in the smartphone market share when it comes to flagships. They call the plan Tiger, so in the near future we should be expecting to see a lot more Samsung devices in public. More iPhone related videos are coming soon. Please this video here to see Samsung go beast mode on the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, link in the description or just type in Tech with Tech and I'll catch you in the next one.